Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, in this video, V I D E O, we're going to look at what factors affect the supply of the Australian dollar. So, we've looked at demand in a previous video, and you might want to check that out. Now, we're looking at supply essentially, all the people that wish to sell, get rid of Australian dollars. All right, let's take a look at this. Uh, we're looking at factors that affect the supply, probably of is a better word, supply of the Australian dollar. And the supply of the Australian dollar is determined by all the people who want to sell Australian dollars. So essentially that they want to, that they want to sell Australian dollars and buy Forex. Now, Forex does not stand for, for example, it stands for foreign exchange. So they want to buy some other country's currency. Now, as I said with the demand video, this was told to me by someone much smarter than myself. Shout out to Miss Matthews. What I was told, which I think is uh, useful, is that the supply of Australian dollars relates to outflows from Australia's balance of payments. So it relates to money that is leaving Australia and traveling to other countries. So if we're thinking about outflows from Australia's balance of payments, what we're thinking about are debits on Australia's balance of payments in terms of the capital and financial account or the current account. Don't need to worry about a CAD here, just in terms of the current account. So debits on Australia's balance of payments. So for example, demand for foreign goods by Australian residents. Foreign goods here, the subtext is imports, uh, recorded as goods and services and recorded as here. That bogs debits. Debits on the balance of goods and services represent money leaving Australia because the goods come into Australia, but the money leaves Australia to pay for them. That's the deal. So what we're talking about here is the demand for foreign assets such as shares, real estate, bonds, currency by Australian residents, so people living in Australia, that leads to capital outflow abroad. So money leaving the capital and or financial account. And this is recorded as debits on those accounts. So again, we're talking here. So if we're talking about bogs debits, capital and financial account debits. What we're talking about is talking about selling Australian dollars, which will increase the supply of Australian dollars. If we are looking at credits, right? Credits onto the balance, Australia's balance of payments. That's about increasing demand for Australian dollars. And that is a separate video. And you can click that link at the top and check it out right now. Okay, no, don't check it out right now. Keep going, stay with me. We've got a bit more to do, check it out later. Okay, so now we've had that introduction. We've thought about, okay, so we're talking about uh, increasing supply of Australian dollars, people selling off their Aussie dollars. Let's look at some specific drivers or specific reasons um, that lead to an increased supply of Australian dollars. So the first thing to think about is the level of financial flows that leave Australia. So let's put this in green just so we can make it clear about what the factors are. So what we're saying here is that So what we're saying is that if let's put that if there are increased reasons to save should put s or invest outside of australia right so let's say that there are more reasons to invest outside of australia so if we can think about uh some specific reasons why that might be what we could have are some of the following so what we could say is maybe australia's interest rates are lower than global interest rates. So people can get higher returns if they save overseas rather than saving in Australia. 
Also, maybe there are greater opportunities outside of Australia, and that could be maybe the Australian economy is slowing, maybe government policies are unfavourable in Australia. There are all sorts of potential reasons why that could be the case. But essentially what's happening is that because there are increased reasons to save or invest elsewhere, there will be increased supply of Australian dollars. So S in this context is not saving, but it's supply. Increasing supply of Australian dollars because people need foreign exchange to invest or save elsewhere. Elsewhere being another country. And what they need to do is sell off those Australian dollars and get another currency that will help them earn more money. So that is one way or one driver of greater supply of the Aussie dollar. The level of financial flows leaving Australia. Leaving Australia. So, leaving Australia, it's those debits, money exiting the country on the balance of payments. Okay, I've made that point. Let's move on to the next point. And the next point says, uh, speculators or expectations of a currency depreciation. Now, I just might add something here. Uh, this was something that I had on the um, demand video, which is relevant here. So what we're saying here is that uh, speculators or traders or people in the market, uh, what they are expecting is that people in the market, they expect that the value of the Australian dollar will fall, leading to a depreciation. Now, if people hold Australian dollars at the moment and they think that the value is going to go down, they want to, they want to sell the Australian dollar now and minimize their losses. They want to get out before it really plummets. But the thing here is that What will happen is that all of these people's expectation of a lower Australian dollar will actually equal a lower Australian dollar because what they're going to do is they're going to sell now. And when they sell now, that will reduce the value of the Australian dollar anyway. So we have a self-fulfilling prophecy. They fulfill their own prophecy by taking these actions. So what happens is, number one, people expect that the Australian dollar will fall. Number two, people sell the Australian dollars. Number three, the expectation of a lower Australian dollar becomes the reality of a lower Australian dollar. So the speculators' expectations of a currency depreciation that will also affect the supply of Aussie dollars or any currency in the world. I mean, you might not live in Australia, but the economic theory will be the same here. All right, our final point is just down here and we'll just keep it consistent. So what we're saying is that Australia's demand for imports will also affect the supply of Australian dollars. And essentially it breaks down like this. If there is increasing demand for imports, so goods for other countries, sorry, goods from other countries, well, then there's going to be an increased demand for foreign exchange, foreign exchange being a uh, foreign currency. So if people suddenly want more goods from America, okay, there's going to be increasing demand for US dollars. But to get those US dollars, we're going to need to sell our Australian dollars. So let me just fix up this O here. So what we're saying here is that if Australia's demand for imports increases, that will lead to an increasing supply Perfect. of the Australian dollars because people want to get rid of those Australian dollars by that foreign currency to get those fancy goods from overseas.